Hey guys, it's JJ Jester here. Um, I just uh, was going over things that I had built yesterday. Um, I wanted to do this video last night, but I got a little tied up with other Minecraft stuff, so um, that wasn't really my priority, but it was pretty serious, so I went ahead and took care of that and waited until today to do this <clears throat> but uh I came up with a falling edge mono stable circuit um let's see I'll do this one this is a compact one but basically what is if you don't know what's going on here with a falling edge you hit the button nothing happens until the button turns off it sends its pulse through. Let's see, where's the button over here? No button. Okay. I have to put in a button. I set that one all up wrong. Why did I do that? Wait a minute. No, that's, that's right. I made this one backwards. Okay, right now. As you can see, let me do an overview. You got that turning the repeater off, which goes around to this one. But it's also t it's turning off both. <clears throat> that right there should not be happening. That should be happening in the bot. Okay. Um, but basically what it's doing is it's sending power through. And once it turns off, you get a quick pulse. Hence the falling edge, which means as it's turning off, when it's turned off, that's when your pulse will go through. But it's... Uh, kind of come in very handy when we actually have pistons because um, when you want to have a piston go real quick and drop or a sticky piston you know release a block mono stable circuits are good for that because it's got a quick pulse granted this design it will become obsolete because once we have repeaters, I will be basically doing every single one of my creations again. But just much, much smaller. Which I am very happy for because it's been one heck. It's been really difficult at times coming up with some different ideas. To do when we don't have stuff that makes it very easy but it's also been a very big challenge which I like challenges so it, it made me more happy to be able to come up with different designs or, su or stuff like that with what we have but I know I'm ready to start doing the compact ones that are sometimes intensive on redstone like a lot of these they take up space but the trade-off is they don't take up a lot of redstone because they're just wire and torches buttons but then when we have the other stuff it's going to be repeaters you know comparators there's going to be hoppers and eventually there'll be pistons that will be in the mix so, I mean, right now, I'm not too disappointed with my designs because right now they're really low on the need for resources. Some of them, you know, like nor latches and stuff like that, they're going to get replaced with just 
the only thing I'm going to change out is repeater. Put the repeaters in with the repeaters I have now. But for the most part, the, some of the builds will stay the same. And some will get a lot smaller. But anyways, this is I just wanted to do this one right here. Um, actually, before I go... To do... Let's see... We got the input there. We can also change this into a rising. Uh, that's going to be... I might as well just do another one. Grand, this is not as small as it could be. Ah. Huh. Things just don't want to play nice today. How'd I do that? Oh, how'd you get on there? in line of this and it shouldn't be should alright there we go that's rising edge basically the opposite when your pulse is, when you start the pulse, it goes right through. Versus the falling edge, which is at the end of the button cycle. But anyways, um, if you like my video, please send it a like. Um, if you're not a subscriber, because I know it's pretty much most of, I think it was 80 or 82 percent or something like that that watch my videos don't subscribe um, please subscribe um, I'd really like to grow my channel uh, if I'm doing something that you know makes you not want to subscribe please let me know 